Oh, you're still here. Yeah, why? What are you talking about? I just thought it was a one-day thing. Nope. Looks like you're stuck with me, bud. Whatever. Let's just do the news. Okay. Wednesday, the NHS Film Festival took place with the anticipation of students' film <laughs> in the air. The second Teddy Lavender Film Festival took place and your NHS students hit the big screen. Awards were given as follows. Best Editing, Olivia Goad and Rachel Backer. Best Cinematography, Blake Robinson. Best Screenplay, Mackenzie Reynolds. Best Actor, Jack Garlic. Best Actress, Lily Schwab. Best Picture, Harrison Lindgren. Way to go, students, and keep the critics raving. For those of you who weren't able to make the Ted Lavender Film Festival, you missed out, but that doesn't mean you don't have the opportunity to see the films. Harrison Lindgren tells you more. You can go on millpulse.com slash film festival from today, this afternoon. It's going to go up until December 15th. Voting is going to be open there for the films that were shown last night at film festival. There's going to be 13 of them. Um, the one you vote for that gets the most votes is going to win the People's Choice Award. And um, go out and vote because it's really awesome. If you didn't get a chance to go see them, then you can go see them on the site. Interested in making film? Still look for the announcements in the early spring for the next contest. Live to Serve is back at it again. <laughs> Bring in your cans to your favorite teacher and your coats to the boxes in the commons. This will end December 14th. Luis Sorto tells you more about how to help after this date. December 14th, we are all gathering up on the, in that morning to go to one of the Forest Park Lodges and there we are going to set up and kind of order every single uh, canned food drive and all the other cans that we got, we'll order them into different categories and we'll order all the codes into different sizes and then eventually the Good Samaritan Network will come and we will deliver those cans and codes to them. Um, anybody is welcome to go. Make sure to come out December 14th to help make a change. Live to serve, it's not just a motto, it's a movement. Attention, thank bankers and those interested in joining Thank Bank. The next Thank Bank meeting will be held next Tuesday, December 10th at 1.35 in room 113. If you don't have an official Thank Bank pass, see Ms. Morganson in room 113 for more. 401. If you are interested in joining, come out to their meeting to see what they're about. Want to watch four Noblesville students, Alec Foster, Amy Stivers, Kyron Winfrey, and Shelby Klingerman, compete for the trophy of Young Life's Mr. and Mrs. Christmas Tree? Well, you can this upcoming Monday night at NHS in the LGI room from 7 to 8.30 p.m. Parents, faculty, students, friends, and anyone else is invited. There is no cost for the event. Come sing some Christmas songs, visit Santa, and watch these four compete in four cate categories. A talent, answering of questions, the ugly Christmas sweater walk, and the infamous parade of trees. Don't miss this. Questions? Ask a Young Life senior or follow us on Twitter at NHS underscore Young Life. See you Monday night. GSA will be holding a full club meeting today during AL and Ms. Coyne's room. Students in the main campus will need to get a pass from Mr. Lather and Ms. Coyne. Students at the freshman campus will need to get a pass from Ms. Val. FCCLA will be having its holiday meeting on Tuesday, December 10th during AL. Please come and get your pass before the meeting. SAC will be having a meeting Tuesday, December 10th for SAC members who need to make their luminaries and for anyone who would still like to purchase one. Luminarias are $1 to $5. Please consider honoring a loved one on this year's Relay for Life. Seniors in IL, your last module for this semester is due today at midnight. Failure to complete all requirements in the module will result in losing your IAL for the rest of the semester. So figure it out and do work, seniors. NHS students, would you like to go down in NHS history? Participate in the first high altitude balloon launch by paying 50 cents to purchase a note card that you'll send up in one of the experiment pods. Also, putting also send your favorite teacher to space by putting their picture on one of the balloon pods, the money will go to paying for the helium needed to launch the balloons. Visit the table at lunch for more information. Also follow us on Twitter at Mr. Wilkins NHS. Let's make it happen. Well, I mean, I guess it was nice being on the news. Yeah, yeah, it was all right. I'll take all right. That's good enough for me. All right, well, let's just go on to birthdays on Shits and Sports. Bye.
I know. Do you wake up in the morning and curl your hair or something, man? Nope. All natural. I was just blessed, I guess. Props. Any boys interested in playing volleyball, pay attention. Volleyball Open Gym is scheduled tomorrow. That's Saturday the 7th from 4 to 6 p.m. Here at NHS. Come and join returning players for those just now learning to play for some fun volleyball. Tonight at the Carmel Game, the Special Olympics Leadership Club for Athletes at Carmel High School is going to have their first fundraiser during halftime. There will be a halftime free throw contest between the two schools. It costs $1 to be able to shoot one free throw, and if you make it, you receive a Coke product. Yippee! All of the money goes towards Special Olympics, so please bring an extra dollar or two to help raise awareness. Get buckets. Yo, yo, yo. Would you like to have a t-shirt with the notorious NOB design? Anyone that is interested in one needs to go to the main office at the main campus or the freshman campus to pick up an order form. The cost is $10. No names and numbers will be on the back of the shirts. I repeat, no names and numbers on the back of the shirt. So help unify the student section and buy a notorious <coughs> NOB t-shirt. Just do it. Well, that was another successful day on sports. Yeah, it was great. And don't forget, today is a big game for our boys' basketball team. And let's be honest, our student section has been lacking the first two games. So here are some cheers to help our boys crush the Greyhounds. We need everyone at the game to cheer for our boys, so if you come out, you are expected to cheer. See you all there. And now for the weather, weather report of the weekend. Sports guys. Sports guys. This one's called the bedtime story. During the other team's lineup, I'm gonna step out and read a children's book. Once upon a time, the right to work laws measure the band mandatory unit membership. Today, most right to work states are in the South, which has a lower level of Alright, this one's called the eight mile, and we're gonna do this at uh, tip off. Everybody in the 317, put your hands up and follow me. Woo, woo, woo. somebody and bring them back down and when I bring them back down the cheers will be I mean the the rows will be going in one at a time and everybody will be booing me and then once I get to the bottom he will shove me off of him and he will go like this and everybody will cheer But the fire is so delightful And since we know a place to go Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow Yes, it's going to be snowy and cold this weekend Elwoody is back with your weekend forecast <laughs> Today will be a possible snow shower With a high of 28 and a low of 15 Saturday will be sunny but cold With a high of 25 and a low of 15 Sunday will be a light mix of rain and snow, high of 30, low of 27. Have a relaxing weekend, NHS. One more thing, there's no choir like show choir. There's no show choir like New Dimension. There's no New Dimension lady cooler than my buddy Courtney Lemieux. <laughs> NHS, Elwoody signing off. <laughs>